The love is also described at the end of verse 6. It's as strong as death, as severe as shale, as severe as shale. Uh, its flashes are flashes of fire, the very flame of Yah. Um, there's a, that's the one place where we, I think we have a reference to the Lord's name, the last line of verse 6. Uh, that's a controverted point because uh, there's, it's, a, it's Yah, but it's a suffix at the end of the word flame. And you'll find a lot of translations that say a, a kind of super. If they take it as a superlative, so it's a a flame of Yah-like intensity, uh, but it's not a reference specifically to the name of the Lord. I think it is a name of the, uh, the Lord's name, and this is a, this is the this is a, a one place where the one place where the Lord is explicitly named in the Song of Songs, and that throws light on the entire poem. Uh, if the flame of love is the very flame of Yah, if true love is inspired and stoked up by the God who is a consuming fire, then that puts a, puts a different complexion and light on the entirety of the poem. Uh, what looks like it's just about erotic love suddenly becomes, has, takes on this uh, spiritual dimension, the Lord's, uh, the Lord's fire is implicate, implicated in it. Love is a fire because it consumes, I think because it's uncontrollable. Probably, uh, love is a fire uh, primarily because it transfigures. That's what the fire does in the, in the sacrificial system. It turns flesh into smoke so that it can ascend to God. Um, and um, that's the first time we have, uh, as, as Jim has argued, we have a kind of pun on the word fire is in the, in the garden when Eve is brought to Adam. And he suddenly is no longer called Adam, man from the earth, but he becomes Ish, which is a pun on the Hebrew word Ish, fire. He's lit up. He's fired by the presence of the woman. Um, and um, he's transformed. Uh, he becomes a... Um, a, a, a man of fire transformed by love for his bride uh, and um, transformed by the fire of Yahweh, ready to offer himself in sacrifice for his bride.